Hi guys, welcome to our channel Fast Cabling. Today's tutorial is on setting up an industrial network switch for beginners. And in this video, we'll be taking you through the step-by-step -step process of getting your first industrial network switch up and running. Whether you're new to networking or just new to industrial setting, this guide will help you navigate through the setup process with ease. And also, don't miss out on the opportunity to enhance your network performance. You can click here through the link down in the description box below and explore our comprehensive solutions today. So an industrial network switch is a fundamental component within a networking setup, playing a crucial role in the efficient and seamless communication of devices within industrial environment. They excel in reliability and durability capable of withstanding harsh conditions, extreme temperatures, and rugged operational environment. And moreover, the switches are equipped with advanced features tailored to industrial needs, such as redundancy protocol, enhanced security measure, and the ability to manage a wide array of industrial devices, ensuring not only the efficient flow of data, but also reliability and stability necessary to keep industrial process running smoothly. So before setting up your system, it is crucial to be well prepared. You need the necessary equipment and tools to ensure a smooth installation process. Additionally, careful planning for the physical placement of your setup is essential. When planning, consider factors such as distance between components, ensure proper ventilation, and ensuring easy accessibility for maintenance and adjustment. These steps will help you lay the foundation for a successful setup and optimal performance. So now I'm going to introduce you to some of our industrial grade PoE switch. This one up here is the 4-port Industrial PoE Plus switch with SFP. It can help the user easily get a PoE Plus network for supplying IP devices in a harsh industrial environment. It is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, provides up to 30 watts of power output. It is also IP40 aluminum housing. So the working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. So if four ports is not enough for you, we also have this one. This is the eight port L2 Plus Industrial Managed PoE switch with four SFP. You can build a manageable PoE network with high stability and flexibility for industrial use. Also provide 30 watts of power output and support ERPS ring protocol. Allow switches to be daisy chained up and get a backup connection. If you're looking for more SFP, port. We also have this 12 SFP L2 Plus fast ring network switch. Now this switch is a powerful network switch to fit tough industrial environment. You can get a manageable network system with redundancy using simple installation. And all our industrial switches are adapted with dual DC power input for redundancy and achieve high stability for system operation. And since they're managed switch, so they're equipped with powerful traffic management, including QoS, DHCP, and VLAN. So now that you're prepared for the setup, it is time to dive into the physical installation. First, you need to mount your switch correctly, whether it's on a DIN rail or on a flex surface. This step is crucial for stability and efficient operation, and a proper demonstration can ensure you get it right. Next, you should focus on connecting the power, understanding the specific power requirement of your switch and make sure to plug it in accordingly. And this step is vital to ensure the switch function correctly and provide the power needed for your network setup. So by following this physical setup steps carefully, you're well on your way to the reliable and effective network configuration. As you can see behind me, we have an industrial setup. And now let's do the connection together and I'll explain the components along the way. 
So over here, we have a router to provide the main network data. This is a network video recorder to display video footage from our bullet camera that we're about to connect. And it's already connected to a monitor. So first, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router with the NVR. And then using another Ethernet cable to connect our router and provide data to our 8 port manage PoE switch. We're using this one right here. And let's look back. These two are the power supply for redundancy. They can both supply 48 volt output power. And coming over here, these two are the circuit breaker. Now I'm going to turn them on. Circuit breaker can instant cut off electrical power where there's a problem, like an overload or source circuit. So think of them as a gate. In between, we have the surge protector. This is like the shield for your electrical devices, where there's a surge in voltage, like from lightning strikes or power outage. Surge protector can divert the excessive electricity away from your equipment. So they are both essential for safeguarding equipment and maintain a safe working environment. So coming over here, it's already on everything. And this is our PoE switch. Utilize PoE technology that can supply both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. So now I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the wireless access point and to our switch here. Using another short patch cord to connect our bullet camera also to our switch. So as you can see, the power the indicated light is on, so it's receiving power and data at the same time. And the video footage should be on the monitor soon. This is a bullet camera, so it needs some time to adjust the focus, but still I can wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done now. So now we are going to use a computer and try to remote access through the web interface. So first, let's open up our web browser. And I'm already on this page. Just plug in the IP number. We have the username, which is already in here. Let's log in. Make sure you set a strong password. And after we get into the web interface, I'm going to pull it out so you can see. We have a lot of configuration here, including the basic switch configuration, VLAN, MAC address, DHCP, QoS, spinning tree. Those are common configuration. And you can browse and see which one you need to configure. And this is how you get into the interface. So don't hesitate to experiment and explore more about networking. And if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more future tutorial. And there's an exciting offer just for you. We are offering a free network design consultation to help you optimize your network setup. Just click the link in the description box below to claim your free design today. Thank you very much for watching us, and I'll see you in the next video.